Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading for the weekend of March 11th to the 13th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Scorpio, if you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing that link as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on youtube don't forget to comment i want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever i upload a video or go live all right, so Scorpio, your overall energy is the five of stars, which is the five of pentacles in this deck. You have the four of stars, the knight of stars, the eight of moons, which are cups, the queen of swords, and then these two cards came out together. So I took them, the nine of wands and the knight of moons. So you're feeling left out in the cold here. You're feeling somebody could have ghosted you or you could have ghosted somebody else. Okay. Mm, this is something that you've been hanging on to. It could be a person or just the feeling of being left out in the cold that you're hanging on to right now. This could be somebody that walked away from you. Hmm. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. But you're very guarded about letting love back in. That's for sure. So let's see what's up with the five of stars. What's going on? The seven of wands. Nine of swords. Yeah, so you're anxious about move, moving forward in love. So you're a little bit paranoid and very guarded. The magician. And the ace of swords and you just want to love that's based on clarity based on truth somebody that you can communicate with so mm, i don't know you're very wounded you're very hurt so to let love in you're going to be going very very slowly because this is something that you're hanging on to here which is okay you're healing you know, you're just doing it at your own pace here. Can I have a kipper on this? And the five of stars. Privileged lady. Okay. Throughout this process, I do feel that you're going to raise your vibration in the end. It's just going to take some time. I also feel that uh, possible suitors really see you as somebody who is high vibrational. As somebody who whose worth is, I want to say known. I don't know. It's just there is no question about your worth when they see you. So know that, Scorpio. Even if you're doubting your worth, that's not how, you know, suitors are seeing you right now. They're seeing you as confident. They're seeing you as grounded. So tell me about the four of stars. What are you hanging on to here? What are you hanging on to? What you're hanging on to. Oh geez. So we have the lovers, the three of swords, and the knight of wands. Okay, so somebody was a player. You're hanging on to this hurt. You're hanging on to this feeling of loss. Right? And let's get a kipper. What can you tell me about the four of stars here? What can you tell me about the four of stars? Ooh, wealthy man. So this person may have been very abundant. Maybe somebody cared about what other people thought. That could have had something to do with it. Or this could be somebody that was well known in the community. 
but you've been hanging on to them. So there is a need for you to let go, to heal. Yeah, because there's happiness here. The sun is clarifying the night of uh, stars, which that's what I was saying. By the time you finish healing, even though you're going at a slow pace, you are raising your vibration. You will find happiness. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Death. That's you. There's major transformation here. Yeah. You're going to feel very stable with the four of wands. Somebody's coming in that's going to... They just said rock your world. Okay. I feel when they come in, it's going to be quite the surprise, but you're very much on guard. You're going to be very much on guard, courthouse, because you're you're judging them up and down. Try to not be so judgmental because of this past person. Know that they are not the past person. Tell me about the Eight of Moons, Ten of Stars. So, yeah, I feel like... Whoever walked away, it was a blessing, Knight of Swords, that this happened. And you're going to be told this. Yeah, you got an emperor coming. Or it could have been an emperor that you walked away from, but I do feel that this is happiness that's coming, that you walked right into the Nine of Cups. As this ended... Official person... So it could have been a divorce. It could have been a marriage here that you walked away from. But I do feel that you will eventually make a decision about love soon after this healing process is over. All right. So the Queen of Swords clarifying that is the Six of Moon. So yeah, that's the soulmate coming in, Scorpio. They're from a past life here. That's what I'm getting with the Three of Cups. So you may be dating a couple of people. King of Swords, look at that. So we have the King and Queen of Swords. But you're not really opening your heart much. You're doing that a little at a time. Yeah, because of the feeling of lack. It could have been a lack of stability here with, with house. Can I have one more? Yeah, concern. So you're concerned is that this union will not be stable. And I don't feel that you need to concern yourself with that. I really don't. Tell me about the nine, Knight of Moons and the Nine of Wands. Oops. Let's get this. Two of Stars. So you're going to be dealing with two different people. Page of Wands. One of them may be younger than you. And the King of Moons. So you could have an air sign and a water sign here. Wow. Yeah. So this is a big decision. When these people come into your world, you're really going to be guarded. So I would release focus on releasing right now releasing this hurt releasing this heartache so that you're not hanging on to it anymore and you can think about the next leg in your journey and what it is that you truly want okay so let's get advice advice so we have the ace of moons they're giving you the okay to be open with your heart with this new love. Because I feel, two of wands, that you, it's time to move on. You can move on, queen of stars. There is stability here. There is a world in which to build. The opportunity is here. Okay. A kipper. Yeah, see? You've got pathway here. Your path is being illuminated. Your path is being lit up. Okay, what is your advice? Capable. You can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arise. Absolutely you can. So just keep taking it one step at a time, Scorpio. And in the end, 
you're going to get there. You're going to be able to open your heart a little at a time. You'll be good. All right, Scorpio, I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing that link in the description box, Scorpio, if you are interested as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order a personal reading from me as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day or weekend and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.